Well, I guess that does it. Where did you find her? The airport. Uh, we apprehended her just as yeah, she was about... Yeah, the perpetrator was apprehended just as she was about to board her flight. You are to lucky all you were was apprehended. These people are friends of mine. Yeah, sure. The Corys are always friends with anybody who can help them out. Gwen, what's the matter with you? She has a big mouth for someone who's in a whole lot of trouble. And what do you intend to do about it? Beat me up with your powder puff? <sighs> Thanks for your time. I'm going to take this lady down and book her. And no, then I'll that send won't off. be necessary. But we have to have I'm a I'm not statement. pressing charges. Not? What it do you mean? It was a misunderstanding. What? It was. The whole thing. Gwen is no real harm to me. But when we got the call, it was an attempted... I know. I didn't make the call. It was an overstatement. It's just a family argument. I'm sorry. Argument? You don't know our family. Gwen isn't going to harm anybody else, so you can let it go. I know the tone. She's not going to change her mind. Please, just take off the handcuffs, okay? If you say so. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for all the trouble this has caused. No problem. <sighs> well, I guess I'll be seeing you. Okay, Courtney, thank you. No, uh, you know, as long you know, as you're all, all, all okay. Yeah, yeah we're, we're fine. Okay. Thanks. We're fine. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thanks for backing me up, Mike. <sighs> Hope it did the right thing. This has got to stop. The hatred, the revenge, it's got to stop. Rachel, I'm, I'm so surprised. I'm so grateful. I just don't know what to say. Come on, Gwen, sit down. Have you had anything to eat? No, I don't need anything to eat. Oh. Oh, I think I need a rehab center. No, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Psychiatric ward. I, I don't know what came over me. You know, I remember so little about last night. I, I, I got so drunk. All I remember is running out of that boiler room with you and Evan. Oh, Evan. I'm so sorry I dragged you into all of this. Please don't turn out like I did. Can you tell me what is it that haunts the frames? I mean, my mother, Willis, Jason. I mean, it's like we're on some kind of path of self-destruction. Yes, but not you, honey, not you. Well, then what can I do to stop it? Fight it. Charlene did. And your Uncle Stephen. You could be like him, Evan. You could give the Frame family a whole fresh start. You could make a brand new name for them. The mirror, look in the mirror. I don't see anything. Exactly. You're talking into the mirror, and you can see your reflection, but because of where I'm standing, I'm not in the mirror's line of reflection. No. I don't care. Those, Those people, people are vultures, bloodsuckers. This isn't like you. What's wrong? Wrong, Cass? Can't you see what's wrong? There are more reporters out there. I don't because... care. I don't care. Oh, I can't take much more of this. Are you okay? I guess I was just thinking... Everything can change so suddenly. All the plans that you make. All your dreams. And they can just vanish. Oh, Cass, we can't let that happen. Did he hurt you? Stay here with her. I'll take care of Jason. Look, I want you to go over to Ronnie and Zach and tell them what's happened. I'll be right back. No, Cass, no, you can't. He really hurt you, didn't he? He's so angry. Cass? Oh, hey, I was worried you were still asleep. I just came from seeing your bride. She had her dress on. You should see her. Hey, buddy. You're getting married in a little while. You want to show a little enthusiasm? 
Come on, you're not going to have much time to get ready. We have to be at the church in a half an hour. Cass? Cass? Well, we've been up for more than 24 hours. Yes, and you waited up for me. And I could use 24 hours sleep. We all could. Yeah, I'm probably going to catch some sleep on the plane. What time is the next flight? I don't blame you for wanting to get rid of me. Listen, just put me in a cab. I'll go out to the airport and hop on the no, first no, one. No, 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 no. I want to drive to the airport. Why? To make sure that the plane takes off? <laughs> no, it's the least I can do. What do you say? All right. Okay. Evan. Um, I'm not going to tell Mac this about this until he gets back, okay? And in the meantime, I want you to stay on. Rachel, you don't have to say anything, Gwen. Of course I do. You know me. I always have to have the last word. So, goodbye. Ladies, I don't know about you, but it's way past my bedtime. Thanks, Mom. Uh, For everything. No problem. I think it's time I made my exit. You know, bad. I never have looked so good. Uh, Rachel. Yes? I'd like to know something. What? The reason Daddy went away, the reason he wasn't at the party, was it because of me? You have absolutely no idea of the effect you have on him, do you? But it was me. And when he knows that I knew about Evan, I guess... I'm not going to tell him that, Iris. Won't you? Why should I? What good will it do? It'll just hurt him some more. Thank you. It's the least I can do. Rachel, if you... If you're talking to him on the phone... Would you give him my love? Here. He didn't say where he was going. No, not a word. Listen, um, I'll keep you posted. I have to run. Derek? Yeah. Is Cass here? No, he's not. And he and I are supposed to be at the church right uh, now. Did you talk to him? I said a couple of words and then he just bolted. Oh, no. I don't know. He had the strangest look on his face. Do you know something about what's going on? I can't talk about it. Oh, no, not again. Please. Stacy, there are... Wait a second. First of all, you can't tell me about your relationship with Felicia. All right. But then you can't tell me what you were looking for with Frankie last night. And now this? This is making me sick. Don't you understand that? Why don't you just leave, all right? Please. All right. Well? I will tell you everything you want to know. Starting with who I really am, and how I know Felicia. Stacy said he just left. He just walked out the door. Well, did she ask him where he was going? She didn't have a chance to. Michael, you've got to go find him. Donna, maybe he just needs time to, to think. But I think you have to go and look for him. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh you're beautiful. Isn't she <laughs> stunning? Hi, right, Cass, you are oh, so beautiful, Cass is going to be just dumbstruck. He's going to forget his vows. He certainly is. Well, I've been practicing my vows. I think I have them down. You know, I think I better go check on that limo. That's a good idea. Don't step on the train. I didn't. All right, I'm going to go upstairs and see if little Michael is dressed yet. He's got his little tiny tuxedo. He looks so adorable. We'll be right back down. Hi, Nicole. Take thee, Cass, to be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. 
for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, through sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish all the days. Cass. Tell me it's not true. <laughs>